What's in here? You're gonna keep this thing on public. I'm gonna talk. Okay, just know that it's gonna work on everything. cable has a bunch of like loose cables on it because it's a multi cable hmm. and that clinkity clankity is probably gonna be picked up by the camera but you okay pumpkin yeah. all right on to the streets go so I do have low tire pressure in my front left tire I don't know it's some sort of slow leak so I need to check out that all right so you see everything now we have cars and we have this like I call it the dream state because everything's kind of a little bit blurry on the outside but look cars are still rendered in colors so these cars are coming in as blue and this is a good test because it's cross traffic it's looking Looks good, and we're making the turn. No brakes in the middle, so that was really good. That's what I noticed on my initial drive is that it's pretty confident um, on its movements. So this is a four-way stop, and the ground was barely visible, but still recognized it and stopped. And it's seeing everything, look at that. The bicycle, look at that. You see that? Two bicyclists. And then people walking, the person crossing the street. It's great. I mean, I knew it saw it before, but it were there were squares before. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Um, why, why, are, why are the cars when they come next to us? Why are they the same colors? Oh, so well, before you were seeing what the computer saw, right? And so the computer has to be able to tell which car is coming towards you, which car is going away from you, which car is just passing you. So it still sees that, but now it doesn't have to show you because we don't need to know the colors. The computer needs to know the colors so it knows what to do, right? Right now, it just needs to drive. So now it made it more pretty, right? Now you can see the cars and you can actually see the brake lights of the cars. And you still see cars in colors. See, sweetie, they're blue. And this is a four-way stop. That was much, much better than before, where it was stopping for a lot, lot longer, really waiting for a good opportunity. So it's being a lot more confident. I'm gonna fix my speed because I had this adjusted to, oh, okay, so this is a random break. It might've been because that guy was coming out. Um, let's see, autopilot. I'm gonna set it back to the speed limit. I had it five over, so go back to this so it always matches the speed limit. Because I feel like it's driving pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure what the blue cars mean, sweetie. Here's the bicyclist. It's giving him plenty of space. You see him rendered. That's awesome. Plenty of cars now. Look at all the cars and everything rendered. And you can also still swirl around. Oh, okay. So if I miss something calling it out, mention it down in the comments if you see something that you're like, oh, it did something interesting because supposedly it's using the camera to monitor me. I don't know if it is or if it isn't like if I look down or if I look at like my phone will it start beeping at me and ask me to nag the steering wheel so like I'll look down right now I'm looking down I'm looking down I'm looking down it cannot see my eyes because I have a hat on and oh uh, maybe maybe it is I don't know
I should time it. What's the length of time of me look not showing my eyes versus not holding the steering wheel? So let's see. I'm holding the steering wheel right now. I'm gonna let go of this, meaning my hand is still present. I'm gonna let go of the steering wheel, but I'm gonna look down. So six seconds. And then now, if I let go of the steering wheel, it's definitely gonna take longer than six seconds for it to complain. So it is watching for your eyes. Interesting. Pretty, pretty cool. Yellow, yellow, <laughs> That's your new song. <laughs> Look at all that. Look at all the cars and you can see their little brake lights. And then, oops. Look at even behind. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me grab a picture of that. Yeah, so this used to be a blue line, now it's like green dots. And this road, everyone's going a little bit faster than 25. I might, oh, speed limit just changed to 30, so we're good. So if I keep looking forward but I don't hold the steering wheel will I still get the nag that's what's interesting okay so I'm not putting any pressure on the steering wheel but I'm just looking forward so let's see if I get the nag because technically you should see I'm paying full attention I'm looking forward and if it removes the nag I'm pretty happy about that because I kind of hate clicking or pulling on the steering wheel all the time hello hello Tutti. hello <laughs> All right, so far, uh, no nag, and I'm looking forward. Oh, there comes the nag. Okay. So I think it's it's a combo. It's a combo of eyeballs and hand on the wheel. So far, this drive is going awesome. Very, very good drive. We're going to get on the freeway. Let's see how it manages that, because it's going to need to get over to... Oh, well, maybe both lanes can do it. Or maybe it's the far right. I'm not sure. Look at all the cars. I know. You see that? Look at how many cars it's rendering. Even on the other side of the street. And look, I can twirl it around. See that? Whoa. <laughs> look at that many cars. Yeah, there are and that the car sees all of those cars sweetie so the car has to know where all the cars are and what the cars are doing so that it can get us to where we need to go safely right am I driving or is the car driving <laughs> yes it is You're too smart. okay so here all right, it's, I'm gonna give it a little bit of accelerate because it didn't get over to the right lane and we had somebody in the right shoulder trying to get on this on-ramp. So that is one thing I've, uh, I've seen already has not been improved is when making a right get over to the shoulder, there's a dotted line. You technically can when driving, uh, but autopilot refuses to do that. So I run into the situation of, okay, I'm holding the steering wheel. I run into this situation of being in the right-hand lane, but not in the right shoulder to make the turn. And then it's like, so. One intervention. So we're on this freeway for a little bit, and then we exit off this freeway. And then we've got this pretty long straightaway here. So to be honest, I don't sense any, uh, any more issues with this drive. But uh, 13 more minutes. Should go pretty good, I think. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, you already went before we left. But now the whole world knows that you needed to go. <laughs> silly munchkin. You're so silly. Look at the dog. So so far, you've driven on on the on on the previous version yes. and this version. Yes. Would you say this is smoother? So far, it has been. Yes, because the last one, I would have to say that there were some very looking, <laughs> and you were like, Dude. Oh, I'm always eye rolling on those. <laughs> but so far on this drive, no eye roll yet, right? Mm -mm. All right, cool. So that's a win. That's a win for me. If uh, if wifey finds it smoother, that's definitely a win. Movement in the right direction. I'm sure it's not perfect. Perfect. I'm sure we'll run across minor issues, but if we're another step closer, I'll I'll take it. That's good. Pumpkin, do you see the mountains in front of us? Oh, it is on, but the back screen goes off to save on battery. There. Now I can see the mountain. <laughs> now you can see the mountain. Yeah. Okay, so we had a speed change on the freeway. Those are never easy because a sudden brake. Not a fault of the car, but that's that's why I always keep it five over, so the drop is not as sudden. This is uh, interesting. It's not an off ramp. It's a slow down because this is a quite a curve. I should be able to handle this just fine, but. And it's actually slowing down to 20, which is the recommended speed to take this turn at. I'm sure people take it <laughs> much faster, but it's doing it just, just fine. Cool. And then back up to 65. Go ahead. Oh, it wants to merge over. Okay. Boom. Oh, this should be an interesting turn. <laughs> what do you think about this turn? Look at that. It's like a hairpin. So, Hannah, what do you think? You think it'll uh, make this turn or no? Yes. Yeah. You believe in the car? <laughs> you have you have some really good faith. That's good. There you go, buddy. There you go. Good. Nicely done. Very smooth. It's very nice. You were right. Yes, you were. Very, very good. <laughs> it is learning. Up the hill. Huh? 
I wonder. We're going up the hill. No, we're not. Speed limit here is 30. Um, there's good space between me and the guy behind me, so. Oh, 35 it just changed yeah. to, so. That's actually probably the right speed it should be here. But, yeah. So far, so good. You can see the shoulder lane is rendered. The median is yellow. The curb or the edge is red. All oncoming cars are rendered. and hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video and I'll, I'll catch you guys next time. Sorry I can't come on the other on the other side. Here I am. <laughs> See ya.